You've seen ChatGPT make slides. You've seen Midjourney generate artwork. But this, this is an AI agent that runs your entire design process. Welcome to LoveArt, the world's first design agent that replaces your entire design stack, not just parts of it. In just five days after launch, over 100,000 users from 70 plus countries joined the waitlist. What's even more fascinating is LoveArt's talk tab tune workflow. It totally changes the game for designers. You just describe your vision in plain, everyday language. Then explore a bunch of AI-generated options, pick your favorite, and fine-tune it until it's just right. I'm Daniel, and I have been a business owner for the past decade. On this channel, I'm sharing my insights with you. Today, we're diving into Love Art AI. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know, from the platform's key features, to a real-world example of creating a fashion brand logo, mock-ups, and even promo videos. And guys, before we get started, just a quick reminder. Check the description for helpful links and discounts you won't want to miss. Let's jump right in. The problem. If you're a designer, content creator, or just plain creative, you know the drill. One tool for mood boards, high Pinterest. Another for AI art, Midjourney. A third one for edits, Photoshop. Something else for animation, runway or clean. Take your pick and then the final polish in Canva or After Effects. It's a creative circus out there. But here's the kicker. Jumping from app to app doesn't just waste time. It shatters your workflow, messes with version control, and turns what should have been a quick update into a full-day rabbit hole. Love Art AI changes the game by bringing your entire creative process under one roof. That means no more scattered files, mismatched brand elements, or clunky handoffs. Just smooth, intelligent design flow, from Spark to Share. The tool seamlessly orchestrates GPT Image 1, Flux Pro, or OpenAI 03. Want more? There's Gemini Imagine 3, Clean, and more, all without leaving the canvas. UX experts have been sounding the alarm for years. Fragmented tools equals brain overload. Instead of letting your creativity soar, you're stuck fighting your tech stack. Now add remote teams to the mix, and things get even messier. You've got nine platforms, four file types, and a dozen brand guidelines that refuse to stay in sync. Even when AI came knocking, most tools were short-term helpers with no brand memory. One prompt, one result, zero continuity. So yeah, guys, marketing teams waste hours redoing the same image sizes, agencies bill for duplicate exports, and solopreneurs are out here hand exporting PNGs at midnight. I've been there. The truth is that we don't need another generate button. What we need is flow, a single, smart, context-aware space where ideas, visuals, and final touches live together. LoveArt AI isn't just a platform, it's an agent. It remembers, it adapts, and it works with you, not just for you. What is LoveArt? All right, my friends, let's take a closer look at this model. What exactly is it? Imagine this, GPT Image 1, Flux Pro, OpenAI 03, and many others, all hanging out on one board. That's LoveArt. No tab hopping, no app switching. Everything lives on a single unified canvas, just follow the super convenient talk tap tune workflow. Describe your vision and Love Art gets it. Use an intuitive interface to fine tune typography, colors, layout, or redraw local elements. No exporting, no bouncing between tools. Most AI tools forget what you told them five seconds ago. Not Love Art. Its mind chain of thought engine locks in your brand DNA, fonts, palettes tone and keeps it consistent across everything. And don't worry about slowing down. All the heavy rendering happens server-side, your laptop stays cool, and your assets are always up to date in the cloud. LoveArt isn't just another niche app, it's the creative conductor you've been waiting for. One tool that brings together ideation, generation, and final polish, like a well-rehearsed symphony. And now, my friends, let me show you how to use it. So guys, once you land on the LoveArt homepage, you'll see this interface, a prompt field in the center, and your projects listed below. If you haven't created any projects yet, there will only be a Create New Project button. So let's go ahead and click it. On the right, you'll find our chat window with the AI Assistant. Let's try entering a simple prompt. I came up with the brand name myself. Just want to see how well the platform executes my idea. We can already tell that LoveArt operates like a reasoning model. It processes the prompt step by step to reach the result. The first thing it does is gather moodboard style concepts for inspiration. Only after that does it start generating a logo. We'll need to wait around 30 seconds for LoveArt to show us the result. 
And pretty quickly, guys, it gives us four logo options to choose from. I like the first one. It's simple, yet quite elegant. So I'll go ahead and click on that icon. Now the platform continues by generating a full brand kit. That takes another 20 seconds or so. As you can see, the platform is using the ChatGPT image model for the visuals. And look at these stunning neon-themed posters. The styling is top-notch. The platform also shows how the logo would appear on various mediums. Labels, for example. Here's how it looks printed on a leather tag. Really sleek. And even a t-shirt print version. This tool really goes above and beyond, generating all sorts of assets. Design philosophy, mockups, tags, color palette, and much more. Guys, before we continue, I am happy to share my insights with you. And all I ask in return is that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks. Now let's push LaVart a bit further and ask it to animate the logo. We'll see how it handles that. After a short pause, using the clean 1.6 model, it generates a 5 second animation that we can download. Let's try something else now, a teaser video to promote the brand. As always, it takes a bit of time. The platform starts by outlining the concept and begins generating visuals for the upcoming video. At the moment, it has produced one of 8 frames. And now we are seeing more frames appear. There's a person wearing our brand's clothing, along with some accessories. Everything looks really polished. And most importantly, it all shares the same aesthetic. We can also see that LoveArt uses an additional model to generate audio. It actually composes unique music tracks. And here we are, the 5 second promo video is ready. Let's start by watching the animation. Wow, that looks seriously cool. It begins with a leaf, and then the logo lights up in a burst of neon flames. Though it actually feels more like an electric surge. And here's the teaser. We wear the future with every thread. Visually stunning. I especially love the sharp camera transition from the person wearing the branded outfit to a close-up of the items laid out on the ground. What blew me away? Every single tool knows the brand context. No reprompting, no re-uploading. LoveArt didn't just help me design a teaser, it produced a full cross-platform launch kit while I stayed in flow. Pros and cons. All right, my friends, let's break down what's hot and what's not when it comes to LoveArt AI. The first standout feature is the context-aware design pipeline. LoveArt's engine doesn't just spit out designs, it remembers your brand's soul, colors, fonts, layout rhythm, stays locked in across every piece. Another admirable feature is one canvas for everything. No more hopping between tabs, whether it's GPT, Clink or Suno. Everything plays together inside one clean board. LoveArt can suggest improvements directly in the chat interface. This is like discussing the outcome with a professional designer. And of course, you don't have to be eloquent. Give one instruction and watch it spin out stills, motion and socials. No more pixel pushing for different sizes. Now, as much as LoveArt feels like the future of design, it's still finding its footing in a few areas. First off, it's in private beta, which means you'll need to snag a spot on the waitlist. Then there's the internet factor. Because LoveArt handles rendering in the cloud, your laptop stays cool. But it also means a spotty connection can derail your workflow. If your Wi-Fi stutters, your generation job might hit pause. And that's definitely not ideal if you're on a deadline. And let's talk pricing. It's not public yet. The product hasn't officially launched pricing, which makes it tricky for teams trying to plan or budget ahead. LoveArt is bold, smart, and seriously creative. But like any rising star, it's still ironing out the details. Worth keeping on your radar, especially if you're tired of juggling 10 tools just to finish one project. Who this is for? So, who's LoveArt really built for? If you're part of an in-house growth team racing against the clock, this tool could be your new secret weapon. Instead of waiting days for ad sets, LoveArt lets you go from idea to export in minutes. Perfect for quick A-B testing without waiting on design backlogs. Brand and packaging studios will also feel right at home here, with the ability to spin up 3D mockups, motion teasers, and print-ready dial lines in one go. What used to be a two-week design sprint suddenly takes just a couple of days. And if you run a content or social agency, here's the kicker. Non-designers can finally jump into production. Strategists and community managers can generate branded assets just by talking. No need to tap the design team for every minor update. But, my friends, if you're a hardcore After Effects user, LoveArt's cloud-first setup won't do you many favors. 
Same goes if your creative workflow is mostly whipping up quick memes in Canva. Love art might be a bit too much firepower for the job. But if your daily grind involves bouncing between 9 apps just to finish one campaign, Love Art doesn't just help, it teleports you straight to the finish line. Final verdict. So guys, we've just explored the tool that could completely transform a designer's workflow. In just a matter of minutes, we created not only a brand concept and its visual identity, but also stunning promotional videos to go with it. I am genuinely impressed. Love Art doesn't just help you design, it designs with you across image, motion, sound and style. This is the closest I've seen to a true creative co-pilot, not a gimmick. It's early, but it's promising. Very promising. All right, my friends. And that's all about my Love Art AI review. So don't forget to check those links in the description below. If you had a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.